So, if the rumors are true, Quasi Alpha could just be Gemini 2.5 Ultra. I'm going to test this out before it's gone or before it's made into a paid one. Uh, basically, we're going to be using Open Router for this. All you need is an API key, and you just need this model name right here. We're going to jump on over to Visual Studio Code. I was making some things last night. I was making some WordPress websites and things. I just want to see how good this model actually is. One thing about uh, Augment Code, by the way, I hate how it just automatically opens. I really don't like that. So if it could stop doing that, that'd be great. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the model here like that, right? So I wrote the model and then press done. And then I'll also do this to Roo code as well, just because um, I have a feeling uh, that I'm also going to be using root code. Uh, so we'll go to open router, same thing. Um, Put the model name here. I uh, will grab an API key because apparently I don't have one here inside root code. So I'll just press keys here, create key, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so just before we continue, there's just one more thing I want to check. I just want to see if OpenAI um, has computer use activated yet. Does not support computer use, right? As soon as this does, I'm definitely going to be making a video about that, but it doesn't for now. So we'll stick to open router. We'll use the new model here. We'll use Roo code. We're going to do our one bang boomerang tasks. Shabba labba labba labba. Uh, prompt, that is a technical term. If you want this prompt and you don't want to wait for videos like this, which I'm currently making like as many videos as I can per day just because there's such a ridiculous amount of things happening. But if I go in Classroom here and I go to all of my prompts in one place, then you can see I have this universal prompt right here. Um, so what this will do is it will build a website, right? According to my specifications. This will build a plumber website. I'm just gonna throw this in. We're gonna see how this does and we're gonna compare it to its probable brother, which is Gemini 2.5 Pro. The reason people think, by the way, that this is Gemini is just because it has a 1 million context window and it's free, right? Most models, regardless of you know where they are and stuff, they're not gonna have a million context window. A million context window is pretty much unique to Google, which is why most people think this is currently, um, at least people think it's, uh, it's Google. Okay, so the first thing's first. It's gonna research, it's gonna find some ideas for um, niche directory ideas, and then it's gonna come back to me. Here we go, so we've got infrared and alternative sauna directory, that's not bad to be honest with you. Craft nano breweries and micro breweries. Okay, wait, we just need to cancel this because I haven't actually decided on one yet. Actually, we could just let it, let's just let it decide itself. Let's see what it does. First things first, this is an incredibly quick one, which is nice. So let's see, uh, it's, it's doing plumbers. Okay, so I think my prompt did, uh, it does mention plumbers, yeah. So we are doing plumbers, okay, that's fine. Um, There's something about the uh, Brave search MCP. Uh, try not using local search. For some reason, the local search one just, just doesn't work. So let's see, Plummer Island, there we go, bang. And it finds them, okay. I think this would be even cooler if I just left it uh, as a completely blank directory, right? And let it decide what to do. I think I'll do that next time, but. So now let's find Alliance Plumbers. This is much, much quicker than Gemini, I will say. Let's see kind of how many calls we're doing here. Quasi Alpha, Quasi Alpha. That's a lot of calls, right? And I haven't been rate limited. It's used probably quite a lot of tokens. You can see 17,000 input, 70 output, Jesus. So it's found all of this information here already, right? So features, tags, this is much more detailed already than uh, 2.5 Pro. So currently, for me, the SOTA, right, uh, state of the art uh, model, you can say SOTUM if you want, it's a little bit too close to another word there, uh, is, in my opinion, Gemini 2.5 Pro. But it's slow, and the rate limits suck, right? As soon as these two problems are fixed, and it's even more intelligent, for example, using um, 
using 2.5 Ultra, which I, I, I'm certain this is 2.5 Ultra. Like, I can't really imagine what else this would be. Let's just try and find out a little bit more information about this. So we'll just search Quasar Alpha LLM online. So it's a stealth LLM released. I'm guessing most people are going to say it's Gemini. I think it's OpenAI's new open source model. Doubt it. That would be cool, though. One mil always indicates big G. Could be them trying out 2.5 with non-reasoning. Also, Quasar equals space, Gemini equals space. On the other hand, those things are incredibly obvious. And we've been, it would be stupid for Google to bother setting up this whole stealth thing. Interesting. And they've always done experimental models in the API studio and gotten feedback. Also, 136 tokens, an average of 0.5% uh, 0 0.5 seconds latency is no joke. And that's with half a billion tokens processed every day. So however, this is has solid hardware up there. It has a lot of Quen mannerisms. It has a similar tokens per second to Quen Turbo and Open Router in the same worm mill context when it, testing continues. So people are saying it might be Quen. People are saying it's extremely quick. It's not Llama 4, or I hope it's not Llama 4, someone says. It can make 3D ASCII or LL art. I don't know what that is. Edit, it was able to fix some weird coding problems. I honestly, I'm 99.99% sure this is uh, Gemini, but people are saying it's not Gemini. It's very hard to know, right? We, we've got no idea what model this is, but um, yeah, we're just trying to work it out. Okay, so occasionally Rue does get stuck here, so I'm just saying continue to the next subtask, right, which is generate a comprehensive CSV with all of the information inside. If you don't know what this prompt is, um, there will be the prompt in the description of this video, or you can just join the school if you don't want to wait, uh, and it will be the first link in the description of this video. It has SOPs, it has everything here, right? I really recommend joining the school if you're struggling with this kind of stuff. It also teaches you about how to use Klein, how to use all of these different things. Um, what? You have all this information on my... It seems to have got, got lost, the information. Yeah, there it is. Uh, owner John Doe, that doesn't look right, but that's okay. So we'll press save here. I think we have to manually press save because it doesn't have access to this information. Uh, let's see here. Okay, wait. So I'm just going to cancel this. I'm just going to close that. I'm just going to go to local, right? Local WordPress, which is where I develop my local WordPress websites. Just get rid of this update. Let's create a new site. So it's fresh, fresh. Okay, add site. Okay, so this will add a fresh WordPress installation. If you look at this part here, you'll see that's exactly what it's expecting because that's what the prompt says. The prompt says, hi, you're inside a brand new WordPress installation, blah, 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 right? There's definitely some information missing from the CSV, so I would say that that part is definitely lacking. Um, but if I just open site here, you'll see we're in fresh.local, and if I just press VS Code right here and press trust, and then go back to Roo, not augment, go back to Roo, stop it augment. And then we'll see where this is now. No, oh, I was on Klein, that's why. Sorry, read the directory again. Now we're inside a WordPress installation. So you can see this is what we just did. We just generated this page. Um, and then now it's going to understand where it is and what it has to do. Um, so this has still got the prompt of building a child theme on top. It seems to be very detailed planning. This definitely does seem good. Uh, we will see how it actually ends up though. Okay, so you can see here it just gave me some commands, right? A setup uh, dot bat script, which I'm just running inside the site shell right here. Uh, that just installed a load of things, right? A load of um, plugins and also a load of, uh, and also activated the child theme. So now if I go here, we should see that this is a different theme. 
So you can see here, success, switch to plumber, directory child theme, okay. Um, now continue, I have run these commands, right? So what that did was it installed WordPress legal pages, right? WordPress forms and rank math. So you could already set that up. I'm not gonna bother because this is just an example video, but while it's coding, you can now continue to set up, right? Okay, so you can see here, now we actually have this plugin, which we're gonna press activate on. No mistakes so far. We now have this plumbers button. We'll go to all plumbers, add new plumber. There doesn't seem to be a CSV import option just yet, but that's fine. We'll go through this in a second. We have counties, tags. Let's see if it's on tools, available tools. No, oh, it's right here, plumber importer. So let's run this. Okay, that didn't work. This happens quite a lot with any model though, to be honest with you. Uh, so we'll just quickly cancel this and we'll just send this error here. Okay, so you can see import started, import completed. If I go to all plumbers, there's still no plumbers. Okay, so that eventually worked. I will say that was not as nice of an experience as something like Google 2.5. So I am beginning to doubt whether this is Google 2.5, but it worked. Right, and now we have these counties. Everything's still 404ing, but that's fine. So now we'll just say continue to the next task. Okay, so let's see if that's just a permalink issue, right? So now if I refresh this and open this, it's saying it should work, which it does. Okay, it doesn't 404, which is nice. Let's see if we actually have some information here. Not really, but. Okay, so we're starting to get something now. I think I'm probably gonna leave the video here, guys. This is not as good as I was hoping. Um, now it's not terrible, it's free, it's quick, but like I would rather just be using Gemini. Like that's why I'm stopping the video because I've come this far and I'm just like, why am I even doing this? I could just be using Gemini. I don't know, this wasn't as good as I was hoping. I was hoping that this was gonna be 2.5 Ultra, but it seems more like it might be Quen. Thanks for watching guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of this video, I'll say that this is probably not worth your time and it's better just to use Gemini. And yeah, I'll see you very, very soon with some more content and peace out.